Hello and welcome to Modelling Misadventures. Now I'm starting a new project today and I'm putting this in the category of a nostalgia project. Now in one of my previous videos I showed uh, a 3D printed model that I made of the Land Rover Series 3 that I learned to drive in but that actually wasn't the first vehicle that I ever owned. The first vehicle that I owned was a 1980 Morris Marina van that my father gave me uh, whilst I was at university. Uh, you can see a picture of it here with me proudly standing by it uh, when I first acquired it. And what I'm going to try and do in this video is make a 3D printed model from scratch of that particular car. Now I need to say right from the start that I have got very, very limited 3D design skills. I can't use computer aided design programs and the only one that I'm capable of using is Tinkercad and it's really a beginner's computer design program and there's a lot of limitations to what you can do with it. So it's quite hard work trying to make uh, complex things out of Tinkercad like cars, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Now the starting point for a project like this is to get some drawings of the vehicle and I found that there's actually very limited uh, information available online that I could find. I'm sure some people would, be, would have access to other better stuff but I could only find some fairly simple drawings like this one and this one. So this is what I used for my basic design starting point. There's also loads of photos available online of these vans so I was able to use these to just get a uh, general idea of the shape and contours. Now the next thing I did was to use this program which is called Inkscape and this allows you to import a picture of what you want to make into it. Now this image that I've imported into Inkscape cannot be read by a, a computer design software. It needs to be converted. So what we have to do is uh, what's known as a trace bitmap and this then traces the outline of the original drawing. We can then delete the original picture and we can save this one as what's known as uh, an SVG file and uh, this optimized SG SVG file can then be read by the Tinkercad computer design software. And this is what that drawing now looks like uh, when it's been converted into this SVG file and imported into the Tinkercad software. And this now gives me a reference um, model for at least a side view of the van. Now I can't work directly from the outline diagram in Tinkercad, so I have to repeat the process using a version of that diagram that's been colored in. And I colored it in using paint, uh, the drawing program, and ended up with a drawing like this. I can then import that solid version into Tinkercad as well. and now have these two versions, the original one showing the outline and the filled in one. Now the beauty of the filled in one is that I can then print this out as a solid uh, shape, uh, which is the side of the van. I can then click on this and go to export and export it as an STL file. And this STL file can be read by a 3D printing slicer software. Now this next software program is called a slicer and this is what we use for making the 3D printing files. And in this program we can import the STL file that we've just created in Tinkercad. And so now here we have a version of the side of the van. Now in order to print that we need to slice it so if I slice that, you can see now that it has uh, sliced it up. And then what we need to do is export this 
file onto the SD card of the 3D printer. So the file for the side of the van is now on this card. We can put it in the printer and then we can print it. Now this is my first prototype of the van side and it looks pretty basic, but uh, I've managed to uh, shape it a little bit and you can see that there's this little insert here, but that's, that's about it. Now having made a, a basic prototype of the outline of the van, the next stage involves trying to recreate some of the features that are on uh, the actual vehicle itself. Now in Tinkercad you have options for adding various things to your design. So you can add squares and cylinders and these can either be solid or they can be holes. So for example if we want to create a window in here then we can add in this uh, block here we group that together with the original and we've created a very crude window uh, if we want to create a insert for the fuel tank we can import another shape turn it into a hole uh, rotate it 90 degrees rotate it another 180 degrees and then we can put this onto the vehicle like this I need to raise it up but by playing around with it you can start to add on some of the details for the car now I spent a long time playing around with this uh, and trying to shape the side of the, the van and uh, add some of the extra features like uh, inserts around the doors and uh, wheel arch fairings and it's taken me a long time and a lot of different prototypes but I'll show you uh, through the various prototypes where I've got up to. So after a bit of tinkering uh, managed to cut out the door frame and then in the next stage managed to cut out the petrol cap insert and put these little bearings on the wheel arches. Then I had to work on a door. I started off with this and progressed through to that. Now having managed to get a reasonably looking side I turned my attention to other parts of the vehicle. Uh, started off with a very basic roof shape here and managed to end up with this one which actually has the uh, the indentations in it, uh, the curve here, the curve at the back and a slight curve on the roof itself. Also designed a simple bonnet, um, managed to get this one to open and close just with some little hinges uh, against the side of the wings there um, and that bonnet has now been improved because I've got the indentations in it in here again just by putting some holes into the surface of the bonnet and lastly some back doors so with all those bits i'm gonna have a go at gluing together this little small prototype and uh, see what it looks like Well there we have it and I'm pretty pleased with how it's come out to be honest. It actually does look somewhat like a, a marina van and 
Although it's very rough and ready at this stage, uh, I think I've got something to work on here. Now remember that this is only a small scale prototype and I'm actually going to scale this model up now to one eighth scale. And that's going to bring it into line um, with the same scale as this Series 3 Land Rover. So it's going to be a lot bigger and uh, obviously the finish will be a lot better. So I'm looking forward to the next stage of that build. But for now, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you want to see what comes next, I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures. Thank you.